Over a million black people are imprisoned in the US. That's one in eight of all people imprisoned in the entire world. In 2014 alone, Africans represented 2.3 million of the correctional population in the United States. And despite the decrease of violent crimes, the number of people in prison or jail has risen by 50%. Nearly half, 46%, of people incarcerated in state prisons in 2015 were convicted of nonviolent drug, property, or public order crimes. When it comes to arrests related to marijuana possession, even after its decriminalization or legalization, Africans still remain the primary targets of those arrests and incarcerations. The mass incarceration of African people breaks up families and removes African men and women from our community during our prime productive years. The prison system in the U.S. is modern-day slavery, where the forced labor of African people makes millions for the government and corporations. Prisoners continue to be used as free labor today with African prisoners in California being used to fight the colonial forest fires that have been ravaging the West. With the privatization of prisons across the U.S., libraries are closing and access to information from the outside world is increasingly denied to our brothers and sisters behind bars. With the coming of the COVID-19 pandemic, incarcerated Africans now have to deal with fighting the disease as well as the system that dehumanizes them every day. As of August 2021, more than 400,000 incarcerated people have tested positive for COVID. For example, in Missouri, a state where a third of the prison population is made up of Africans, African prisoners accounted for 58% of positive tests. African prisoners have been the most neglected because of this colonial virus. Just recently, prisoners in the St. Louis Justice Center conducted an uprising because of the neglect they faced due to the COVID-19 pandemic. St. Louis prisoners' trials were delayed or simply ignored, and prisoners with COVID were not getting the proper care they needed, and the prison staff did not care to quarantine those who were infected. This uprising is only one example of prisoners trying to get the message out that this system does not care for African prisoners like them. This is why the Burning Spear newspaper is critical, because Africans cannot rely on this system for mental sustenance. At its inception, the Bernie Spear newspaper has been about supporting and liberating incarcerated Africans. Since its first full print issue, the Bernie Spear newspaper has always shipped free to any prisoner who requests it. The Bernie Spear newspaper is a lifeline to thousands of Africans in prison who pass the paper from cell to cell until it falls apart. The spirit ends the isolation of African prisoners, connecting the African nation around the world. We depend on donations from people like you to pay for the monthly subscriptions that they cannot. Today, the Burning Spirit Sponsor a Prisoner Fund ships newspaper to over 600 prisoners at 150 prisons. The spear is shipped in much of the South, East, Midwest, and Western states. In Texas alone, the Burning Spear newspaper is mailed to 13 prisons every month. The Burning Spear still has a long way to go in order to be shipped to every prisoner in every state. And that is where your donation and subscription makes that a reality. Every week, the Burning Spear office gets letters from the prisoners asking to receive the spare, asking for help with their case, or just telling their story. It's time for us as a people, as a race, and nation to eliminate our backwards behavior and become pillars of our communities. Men, it's time to raise our kids so they can reach their goals and stand by our women, not mistreat them as less than. We have to stop being materialistic, looking at the oppressor's success and imitating him and realize where he got his wealth. We need to be self-sufficient and rebuild our community in a positive way so we can live and prosper. I pray that we unite in solidarity so the black lives can truly matter. My name is Mawalim Shakur, and I'm an imprisoned new African revolutionary who's been held captive behind enemy lines for 17 years. I'm a father, grandfather, son, uncle, cousin, and brother who wants to see us thrive and prosper the way our ancestors fought and died for us too. Struggling with you always, Mawaling you, servant of the people. A letter to the black women. Wait, I can explain. Please give ears to this elucidation. No excuses, my chauvinistic vision was the result of the aggregation of misinformation and immaturity. 
You see, your divine nature was obvious. But for some reason, I couldn't commit to the religion that hopefully you'll once again allow my hands to serve as your heart's repository. You see, I'm fully aware that it was my part my actions that would chart a different course for us. And of course, I've searched my mind, body, and soul, and will allocate to you the best of it. But with the understanding of life comes the knowledge of the brevity thereof. I leave nothing to be wasted, so I present to you the rest of it. I know I've been losing, but what's the deficit? I won't patronize you with polluted promises, but give me time and I promise that time and I will prove that these words are definite. The personification of grit, grace, and elegance. Is it edible? I want to taste it. Chew on it. Lick the plate. Food for thought. Rumination. Your brown skin gives light in places. Furthermore, I can no longer ignore the dormant of your elimination. By Kenneth Hart. understand that we, the brothers and sisters, confined in the belly of the beast, play a pivotal role in organization as well as returning back into our communities as builders and leaders in the destruction of these capitalist systems. Knowing very much from firsthand accounts of why point number six of the 14 point platform, as well as all others are lights that will guide us and ultimately bring us to a Huru now. Your brother comrade, in struggle I remain, Keith Rogers. Support and donate to the Mufundi Lake Sponsored Prisoner Program and help these prisoners tell their stories. The Spear is more than a newspaper to the million Africans locked down in brutal conditions in the prisons of America. It is a lifeline. Sponsor a prisoner today. Your $25 donation will put the Spear into the hands of an African prisoner every month for a year. Do it today and become the lifeline for Africans who do not have their freedom. Uhuru.